What's up guys, Luke here from Luke's Points and Miles. Today we're switching gears a little bit and we're gonna be talking about airline status. Now, if you are a fan of the channel, you may have heard me say that no airline status is worth chasing. And what I mean by that is, there is no airline status worth changing your behavior or your spending habits. Transferable currencies should always be the goal for most of us in this credit card game, unless you're focused on cash back, and cash back will definitely be more valuable than chasing status. Now, let me give you some examples of chasing airline status. Spending on a co-branded airline card in lieu of a card that earns better. For instance, getting one airline mile per dollar instead of two or three UR or MR points. Obviously, you'll get a lot more value from the bigger earning cards, and most of the time that juice will not be worth the squeeze with the airline card. Another example is booking an inferior flight because you wanna to earn towards status. Maybe you could save money or points, but you feel compelled to earn towards status, so you book that flight that's not as good. Finally, booking flights for cash when it's more advantageous to book with points because, again, you want to earn towards that precious status. You guys get where I'm coming from, right? These loyalty programs are masters at getting us to do things we really don't want to do. <coughs> Looking at you, Hyatt. I chased airline status one year and I wasn't rewarded at all. But what if I said there was a program you could likely earn towards status without chasing it and without even flying? This past 12 months, I was able to earn American Airlines Platinum status without paying for a single flight. In this video, I'm gonna go over all the ways I did this and we'll see if it is worth the effort. If you get any value from this video, then slap that like button. And if you like videos about credit cards, points, miles, cash back and travel, then subscribe to the channel. I thank all of you who have supported me. Okay, real quick, let me get some personal bias out of the way first. I prefer to earn transferable currencies primarily through credit card spend. What do I mean by that? Well, I do have my favorites, but Chase Ultimate Rewards Points, American Express Membership Rewards Points, Capital One Miles, and yes, even City Thank You Points. See, with these points, I can transfer them to partners I need at the time. It also insulates me from a devaluation, like the current Turkish Miles and Smiles devaluation. But I have to admit that I really love American Airlines Miles. Not for flying American Airlines, but because they have tremendous value on partner flights such as Japan Airlines and many, many others. So in this video, I wanna explain how I was able to rack up a ton of American Airlines miles and loyalty points to earn platinum status without paying for a single flight. See, I'm not really in the travel game to pay for flights, at least not very often. First, let's put in perspective what this platinum status can do for us. I'll try to be quick with this, and this is also not a full American Airlines status program review. I have other videos about that that I can link in the description. See, with American Airlines, you earn status by earning what they call loyalty points. You earn loyalty points in a variety of different ways. Flying paid American Airlines or partner flights, spending on a co-branded American Airlines credit card, and with the techniques I prefer, which I'll talk about later in this video. Earn enough loyalty points and you gain status. For example, earning 40,000 loyalty points will earn you American Airlines gold status and one world ruby status. But in this example, I'm talking about how I earned the next level up from that by earning 75,000 American Airlines loyalty points for American Airlines platinum status and Sapphire one world status. With platinum status, I can receive the following benefits. Complimentary upgrades on American Airlines and Alaska Airline flights. How often you are upgraded will depend on a lot of different factors. I fly out of Columbus, Ohio, which is not an American Airlines hub. In fact, American Airlines is likely the third largest carrier here. I will likely get upgraded on most of my flights because I just live in the area where there aren't many platinum status holders. When I fly out of Miami or Dallas DFW, I expect to be upgraded much less often. Well, I don't expect to be upgraded at all, really. I will earn a 60% mileage bonus on paid flights, which creates a snowball effect for earning miles. Instead of earning a respectable five miles per dollar spent on each flight, that number goes up to eight miles. So if you are booking paid flights, or maybe through a portal, that will add up much faster. Complimentary main cabin extra and preferred seats. This is a very 
often overlooked benefit. You know the seat chart when you book your flight and you see those seats that cost extra? Sometimes $20 or $35 extra. Well, I can pick those and I'm sure folks will think that is silly. Let me tell you that the first two rows in economy is a huge difference compared to the back row of economy when you're trying to get to that connection in 40 minutes or less. How many of us have actually ran through the airport? Comment below. I might be being a little dramatic, but I think choosing the better seats has a lot of value. And two free check bags. As someone who doesn't normally check a bag for domestic trips, I can understand how this could save someone a ton of money in the long run. So there are the benefits and we can debate all day about whether they are at all worth it. But what if I told you I earned the status as well as earned a ton of airline miles without flying and I almost did it without changing my spending. I say almost because here at the end of the status year, I did make a stupid purchase to exceed the number of loyalty points I needed. I'm not proud of it, but I did it and I'll tell you about it later. So without spending any money on American Airlines flights, how did I earn over 80,000 American Airlines loyalty points and almost 100,000 AA miles? Well, it's easy. Let me go over the three techniques I used. First off, the most lucrative way to earn for me was using the AA shopping portal. You guys have heard me talk about shopping portals before, namely Ragaton. With Ragaton, you can earn American Express MR points, which I will admit are super valuable, but the legacy airlines also have their own shopping portals. Now, here's some disclosure. I have found that Ragaton, on average, has better earnings, but sometimes it's close, and I especially pay attention when the AA portal has deals to earn 15 miles per dollar, on certain merchants like Nike. So when I looked at how many loyalty points I had around November, I thought with Christmas coming soon, I could use the AA shopping portal and really kick in the earnings. There were some unusual circumstances this holiday season for me. Our local jewelry store was featured on the AA portal with six AA miles per dollar spent. And I did buy my wife a watch for Christmas and that purchase alone earned me over 13,000 AA miles slash loyalty points. Another good tip is if you are able to make use of meal services like HelloFresh or Blue Apron, those usually have big fat bonuses for new customers. I think I got 7,500 miles and 5,000 miles from those. Basically, I subscribe to that service for a couple of weeks, then cancel and subscribe to the next. I could be mistaken, but I think you can basically merry-go-round these to earn tons of points. We actually like those meal services, so I wasn't going out of my way to earn there. So I think sky's the limit as far as how much you can earn with this technique. However, you'll be sacrificing other earnings you may normally get from shopping portals like Rakuten. The next way I earned was through the AA dining program. This one could be hit or miss depending on your location, but AA has a program that you just enter your credit card number into the site and on participating restaurants, you'll earn additional American Airlines miles. Depending on how many times you visit these participating restaurants, you could earn even more miles. This could be three times or even five times miles, so you can see where that could add up for some folks. I don't get the chance to use this one all the time, but I will admit if I'm really trying to earn, I may go out of my way to stop at one of these American Airlines dining restaurants just to earn a little more. My final technique seems to be one that isn't as well known. American Airlines Simply Miles is a program that has certain offers available, sort of like Amex offers or Chase offers, but these earn American Airlines miles and they are associated with MasterCards. So yes, this one will require a MasterCard. Please note that none of these techniques requires a co-branded American Airlines credit card, but having one doesn't hurt either. With the Simply Miles program, you just activate each offer, and when you purchase the product or service with one of your registered MasterCards, you'll trigger that offer. This can include stuff like plus two miles a dollar at certain gas stations, or 930 American Airlines miles when you book a room at the Holiday Inn. It's just a really random list of offers, but I would think most folks can find between one and five of those to use with their basic daily spend. So for an example of how fast you can do this without changing your spending habits, 
On November 13th, I think I released a video about American status. And it looks like at the time I was currently gold status, but I needed over 58,000 loyalty points to earn platinum. My goal was just to requalify for gold because that would have been pretty easy and then kind of reassess. I decided to go for platinum and in just a couple months, I qualified. Please note that American Airlines status year ends the end of February. So if you are ready to accept the challenge, then I would hold off until March 1st to start really earning. The cool thing about trying for status in this fashion is if you fall short, you still earned a lot of American Airlines miles. Just don't change your spending habits. And with that, let me tell you how I did slip up and I purchased something that I would not otherwise purchase. When I was getting really close to platinum, I got impatient and I used the shopping portal to purchase with an offer of 6,200 American Airlines miles slash loyalty points for a 12 month subscription to some real estate program for I think $99. So 99 bucks to finish my quest, earn platinum status, and earn 6,200 American Airlines miles. I don't feel great about what I did, but it is what it is. This status year, I won't have any time constraints. So I'm gonna to try to go for the next level up, executive platinum. I'm earning AA miles for a first class redemption to Japan, and I think this is a fun quest, and I'm hoping I don't spend any extra money this year to get there. Okay guys, if you have any questions about the AA loyalty program, I will link that video in the description below. And if you have any interest in earning credit card rewards, I will link my super cool organized card link in the description as well. If you guys have airline status, I would love to hear how many times you are being upgraded. I know some of you are almost every flight. Also guys, if you like this one, slap that like button. And if you stayed all the way to the end, I thank you and I appreciate every single one of you.